This butcher's in the West Midlands, destroyed by a petrol bomb in a suspected xenophobic attack. Elsewhere in Manchester, footage captures a man being called an immigrant and told to get back to Africa. I've been here longer than you have. Get back to Africa. Listen, the youngest you are extremely ignorant and not very intelligent. And this, a card allegedly put through the letterbox of a Polish family, all just days after Britain voted to leave the EU. Timur says he faced racist remarks walking to the shops. I was like, OK, so no need to be so rude and aggressive, because she was being quite rude and aggressive in her behaviour and uh, almost slightly threatening in a strange way. And her reaction to that was, oh, but you want to shoot me, don't you? You want to shoot me? And I'm like, sorry, uh, because I was like, absolutely shocked and she's like oh you want to shoot me because people like you shoot yourself uh, sh shoot people don't you uh, that's what your people do your people go shoot and blow themselves up and do you think things like this are getting worse oh yeah yeah uh, look at your news feed look at your facebook look at your twitter and you see people from every spectrum like my gay friends my friends from other minorities uh, polish people people from europe who are reporting weird things happening all around them Today, the government condemned these latest attacks and pledged to do more to support victims. But with the number of alleged hate crimes being reported to police on the rise, it's clear something needs to be done to reunite a nation that is somewhat divided. Frankie McCamley, 5 News.